In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a lower ball joint on your Toyota Tundra. Remove the center cap using a flathead screwdriver or a plastic trim tool. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the six lug nuts. Remove the wheel. Remove the cotter pin from the tie rod end. That. Use a 19 millimeter and remove the nut. <coughs> Using a large hammer, we're going to hit right here to free the ball joint out of that knuckle. Pull it down, disconnect the ball joint bolts using a 17 millimeter socket. <laughs> using a jack, we're going to lift up on this brake rotor to push this upper arm up and this will pull everything out of the way so we can get to the ball joint easier. Remove the cotter pin out of the ball joint. All right, so this one's not going to come out. Since we're replacing the ball joint, we're just going to cut the end off and then hammer a socket on and take the nut off with an air tool. Using a 24 millimeter socket, remove the ball joint nut. If you're going to be reusing your ball joint, use a drill bit and drill the little hole where the cotter pin is. If you're going to be reusing the ball joint, thread on this bolt and get it flush so when you hit it, it doesn't mushroom the threads. Since we're not, we're just going to hit right here. If it doesn't come out in just a few taps, we're going to hit the sides to try and shock the rust around it. so we don't mushroom it to the point that it can't come out. There we go. Remove the ball joint. Install the new ball joint. Thread the nut on. And snug it down, snug it down using a 27 millimeter socket and torque it to 117 foot pounds. Up to an additional 60 degrees or until this hole lines up with a slot in the nut. that. Install the cotter pin, bend it down, and around, and I'm going to cut off the excess on the other side. We're going to drop our jack down. Line up the knuckle with the ball joint and start your bolts.
using a 17 millimeter, snug down the bolts. Torque the four ball joint bolts to 48 foot pounds. We're going to torque them in a cross pattern. And then go around once more. Install the tie rod end into the ball joint, thread the nut on, snug it down, torque the tie rod nut to 67 foot pounds. You can go up to an additional 60 degrees or until that little hole lines up with a slot in the nut. Just like that. I have a pull jack pushing up on the tie rod end because our stud was spinning as we were trying to tighten the nut. When you put pressure up on it, it'll seat farther and stop the stud from spinning. Install the cotter pin. And then bend the cotter pin up and over. Install the wheel. Put on your six lug nuts. Snug them down in a star pattern. Torque your wheel in a star pattern to 83 foot-pounds. Install the center cap and snap it into place. Once you're done with this job, take your car to a local shop and have them do an alignment. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.